Hi Libra, this is love message number two that I'm putting out on this channel for the third week of March moving into the end of March. Um, I try to put out two a week if I can um, because I know that a lot of people watch the channel and the first message that come out comes out might not resonate for everyone. So this one might resonate with you guys. They wanted me to use a lot of oracle cards too. Good primarily for Sun, Rising Moon, Venus, or Mercury of Libra in tropical astrology. It is general, of course. It's not a reading meant for just one person. So just take the reading if it resonates. Link to my website's down in the description below. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. This channel is just for Libra and Sagittarius. If you're looking for readings for all 12 zodiac signs, check out my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. I will put up readings on Soma Chandra Tarot for all 12 signs over the weekend and next week. All right, let's begin. Well, Libra, this is definitely about a serious relationship. And I think that you and a person in your energy will have a very good heart to heart productive conversation about the seriousness of the relationship. Um, when I dropped the tarot out initially, they did not want me to drop a whole lot out. I was like, just tell me what's going on here. I think a person in your energy is kind of getting cold feet. I think it's a new relationship for you. If, if, if it's not brand new, it might be have been going on for about a year. Or it was a year ago that this person broke up with someone else and they're still healing from it. I said, you know, this is the person coming towards Libra and this is Libra. Things could be opposite, roles could be reversed. For some of you, this is all you as well because I can feel that in particular for my masculines. So they wanted me to start with the hidden truth of the heart oracle deck. I have combined volumes one and two. What this person has to say over here is I love you. I can't do this. I wish I could take back my words. My life is not as together as it seems. From the Soma Chandra Oracle deck, I'm questioning everything right now. Sudden realizations that I have to make a choice and I'm feeling pretty humble. I feel like this person might have, I was like, what I, I zeroed in on, I wish I could take back my words. I think that they love you and but at the same time they're questioning everything they're suddenly realizing that this is real and they have to make a choice about you about love about their life they're feeling pretty humble they wish they could take something back because their life is not as together as it seems maybe this person isn't quite ready for everything that you're ready for maybe their money isn't as together or their family situation or their healing situation maybe their past is lingering something is not as together for this person as they say it is i think the words they wish they could take back are i kind of get the sense that this person accidentally kind of future faked you and they might not have meant to it's like they love you and they want to be with you but there's something that they can't do they're suddenly realizing that they can't live in a happy little illusion they actually have to make a choice and that's pretty humbling for them because in their deep emotions i have the knight of cups the fool and then the moon to the nine of swords well these two cards together are just like someone's really pouring it on but the knight of cups knights won't stay they don't sit down in a throne like a queen or a king oh he's romeo and prince charming and the fool is just so happy it's a beautiful energy but it lacks in commitment and stability so with the moon here, I think that they really painted something in their mind that it could be happy and beautiful, but it might have almost been an illusion because now they're like, oh my God, what have I done? I think that they're waking up to a reality that you can't just tell a person like it's going to be this and it's going to be that and i feel so free and it's so fun and it's so new if they do have a whole new lease on life this could be something from their past like piscean energy like really stressing them out they're almost worried that like this isn't real for them they said something they wish they could take back they said too much too soon i think 
I think. And because uh, the, that's the second deck I use. The first deck that came out is Death, the World, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with an air sign. They don't have to be an air sign, though. He looks pretty stoic and serious. Or that could be you that they are in love with. If it's a woman or a man, they could be in love with you, Libra. You could be the King of Swords. But I feel like you got a King of Swords coming through. And I said, what is death in the world? And I have the moon, the queen of cups, the six of cups, and the nine of cups. This is a person from their past. If it's a man, there she is. There's the past. They could have been a Scorpio or a Pisces. It's over. Okay, it's over with that person. Um, but I think that they recall a lot of happy times with that person. But I also think that when they recall their past, they're confused about it too. And our past memories sort of, they do get fuzzy after a while. Um, if it's a woman and she's trying to give her cup of love towards you, watch out because she, with the moon coming out twice and death, she may be going through something. And she feels good when she's with you, but you might need to remind her that she can't repeat her past with you necessarily. You're a whole new person in her life if you're the King of Swords. And that she needs to allow herself to transform. She might be trying to transform with the Fool here and the Knight of Cups, like seeing all the beauty in the world again, but she's still really haunted by her past and the illusion about what wish fulfillment actually is. This is a momentary feeling. But again, if it's a man, he's getting over her. I think he's still haunted by the past with her, trying to move on. And if it's a man, he is actually trying to make smarter choices about love. Because the king and queen of swords have sometimes are a person that's kind of been through some shit. <laughs> and they won't open their heart easily. And he sees the cup, but he wants to be very discerning about the cup. This is not a bad thing. They have got to, they have to make a choice. They suddenly realize it, that they've maybe said too much. They love you, but they kind of can't do something at the moment. They need to finish healing before they can let you in and before they can become the king, or if it's a man, before they become the king of cups. It's just hard for them. This, is, this person's been humbled by this whole thing by what they've been through. I just feel like you need to, this is just something you need to know about them, obviously. Your cards over here are, I need security. I'm waiting patiently. I want you back. I daydream about a life with you. You, you definitely want security here because this is not at all security. <laughs> it's fun. And as, a, as kings and queens of swords, sometimes air signs do not realize this about themselves. But when we are faced with a person that looks like this, it makes us sometimes feel a little unloved. Like air signs or people that behave like them, they don't wear their heart on their sleeve all the time and they can be kind of detached. Um, they might have made you feel somewhat insecure. Like, wait a minute, now you, you love me, but you can't do this? What about all this? I need security. Um, I do. I don't know if it's I want you back. Like you, they might have said, I can't do this right now. And you've said, look, I do need security and I'll wait for you. I do want you to come back into my life because I daydream about a life with you. But I want a serious relationship. Um, your oracle cards further out with my deck are I should have listened. Let's take a break. Let's try again. I'm generous and loyal. Okay. I think that you are realizing that you should have listened a little bit more closely. And I think that you are kind of easing off right now, but that you would like to try again because you have a generous and loyal spirit. I don't think they've pissed you off enough <laughs> that you want to like, you're like, F this. I feel like, you know, this person's humbled. And if they come to you and say, I know that I need to make a choice, they're going to maybe talk to you about all this stuff, that they're willing to do love here with you, but they're just realizing a lot right now. Your tarot cards, Libra, are 
the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, but also the Hermit. I wanted to know what the Hermit was, and I got the Four of Cups, the Empress, and the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> um, I think you're not going anywhere, but I think that you have your arms folded at this point, feeling a little stubborn. I think that you see yourself as an Empress kind of person, and you deserve the best. Either that or you're stuck on a Taurus, because I have the Hierophant here. I can see that you're searching your soul quite a bit and trying to think about what it is that you really want. You're doing a, mid, a bit of emotional reevaluation. Like, I don't know about this. Maybe the grass is greener on the other side. I'm getting older. I am wiser. I have pretty high expectations. Yeah, I heard someone say, yeah, I am folding my arms. <laughs> okay, I hear you. I hear you folding your arms and it's kind of like, God damn it, what the hell is this? The Hermit looks very introspective. You are searching your soul about this. Virgo and Taurus here. That's very serious energy. Well, Libra, I think you see yourself as the coin. I think you see yourself as being worthy of a serious relationship. Very, very much so. Family, the Ace of Pentacles is the seed that you plant that will manifest into all 10 Pentacles. It's often an engagement ring. The beginning of something that's actually happening in real life, not just, you know, la la la, whimsical. These cards don't look whimsical. They're very serious. Both of you have a lot of major arcana here. And I have an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Cups. But I think, and the star is here. Page of Swords, you want more information. King of Cups, Seven of Wands, or maybe a water sign you don't want to talk to, or it's hard for you to open up emotionally. Four of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. I think you intimidate this person a little bit, Libra. I do think that you have a fiercely independent side, but that you are open to them. Um, and I feel like there could be, there's still hope. Spirit saying, don't give up hope. I think that you're waiting patiently for now, but it looks like you really do expect the serious commitment. So just know that this is kind of what this person is going through. If I had to guess, I'd say that this person is realizing that they're not quite over their ex or finished healing from it. And that their go-to is to say shit <laughs> with a lot of enthusiasm that then they think, oh my God, I wish I could take that back. Or I'm trying to move forward, but I'm still having like a post-trauma response. They, they do want to move towards you. I think that the two of you want to move towards each other because it's, this is really about a serious relationship. I see that you will have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about it. Um, hopefully these things are all actually said out loud. That's the beauty of the hidden truth. Uh, when I found this deck, I was like, well, this is genius because this is, these are the things that people want to say to each other, but they have a hard time saying to each other. So just know that this is what this person wants to say. They know they have to make a choice here. You can't speak for them, but you can say to them, I'm willing to kind of take a break or take things slow. Um, I should have listened to you more carefully and I will wait, but you need to know that I need security and I daydream about an actual life with you. I don't think you want this to be a daydream because the Empress is kind of real life on planet Earth and so is the Knight of Pentacles. This Knight of Cups can kind of live in his heart and the fool can kind of live in the clouds. I think you're taking it. Just let them know how seriously you take it. I do think that they want to be with you, but they're not over somebody. They may need time for that. The healing will be here. It will. The healing will be here. They're pulling back. They're telling me to stop. All right, Libra, that's the second love message. They just wanted me to do a little bit differently. I hope this works for you guys. I hope it resonated and I hope it helped you. Again, link to my website for private readings and other services is down in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.